there's becoming a lot of opportunity on in the science side and uh, in the technology side. Susan Cacciarelli heads the Northwest Michigan Agriculture and Food Sector Alliance. She says her 10 county cooperative has the same need as most rural areas in America, skilled workers. There's an increasing demand and need for farmers because farmers are aging out in, in our state as they are nationally. But also kind of it's not just about uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, people are thinking of um, year round um, growing so they can meet that demand. So there's the technology associated with uh, season extension. Cacciarelli says developments in farming technology means workers need to adapt their skills and in some cases change their approach to traditional farming. If you're using unheated hoop houses and you're growing um, um, crops, uh, diversified crops on three acres, the, the knowledge of doing that and the, te the technical skills that you need is different from if you're you know, doing 600 acres uh, in an orchard. In a time when both food demand and unemployment are high, state leaders say now is the perfect time to invest in Michigan's agriculture. But Cacciarelli says that investment has to come on multiple levels. Private investment and preserving land is key so is developing a new crop of future farmers. Both Michigan State University and the University of Michigan offer four-year degrees related to agriculture business. At a younger level, programs like 4-H can be the ideal training grounds. It's a great way to introduce yourselves to um, really agribusiness in general. We have 43 different 4-H clubs. What we try to do is give them that hands-on experiential learning so they are doing the activity instead of being instructed on how to do it, they actually do the activity. The agriculture leaders of Michigan say agriculture as an industry employs more than one million people or one in four workers. Right now, Michigan is a national leader in a range of products and crops, but to keep it that way, they say skilled workers and capital investment is needed. For 7 and 4 News, I'm Brody O'Connell.